Hi and welcome to this walkthrough video on how to integrate EasyDraw in your own custom FileMaker app. It will only take the following six simple steps to integrate EasyDraw in your own custom FileMaker app and then we're ready to draw. Okay, let's start integrating EasyDraw. For the purpose of this demo, we will create a new file from a starter solution. Um, let's take uh, the meetings file, for example, and we will save it to our desktop. Okay, we now have an empty custom FileMaker app. And let's say we want to integrate it here, where we have our notes functionality. Let's say we want to make a drawing there. To make the integration as easy as possible, we have made a uh, readme script where you can find all the necessary steps to follow to integrate EasyDraw. So here you have our readme script with the simple same six steps to follow. Okay, let's start uh, with adding two fields in our uh, meetings file. We will need to have, of course, the two fields where we want to store the drawing and we will need a field where we can store our metadata about the drawing. So we go to the manage database and we see that we have um, a notes field but we can change it to our drawing field. So let's uh, change it to a container field. Okay. And we will need a second field called uh, metadata or you can call it whatever you want. And but this must, must be a text field. Okay. Let's create it. Okay, that's it. We have our two fields, our drawing field, which is a container field, and the metadata field, which is a text field. Okay, we go back to our readme script, and the next step will be to copy one table. We will need to copy our easy draw table to our own solution. So we go to the tables, we select our easy draw table and copy it. Okay. Then we go back to our meetings file. We go also to the manage database and we just paste the easy draw table in here. Okay, perfect. That's it. Okay, our next step will be to copy our scripts folder or easy draw scripts folder to our own custom app. So we copy the easy draw folder. We go back to our meetings file. We go to our script workspace, I will put it here, and we just uh, paste our EasyDraw folder in. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go back to our um, EasyDraw file, to our readme script. So we've done step one till three. So ready for step four. We will need to prepare the EasyDraw layout. So every time you create a new table in a file, there is a new layout created for that table. So like you see in here, we have our new layout easy draw. And we go to layout mode to edit this layout. So we can for now delete all the fields that are in here. So we can clear them. We can also remove our header and footer part. We just slide them up. And we will need to make the size of the layout uh, 200 by 200 points big. So to do that, we can select the body part and set the height to 200 points. And to set the width of the layout, we can select the layout background and also set it with 200 points. Okay, perfect. And now we need to copy and paste all the objects from our EasyDraw layout in our demo file. So we go also here to layout mode. We go to our EasyDraw layout in the demo file. And we need to copy all the objects here to our own custom app. So we select them all, we copy them, we go back to our meetings file and just paste them in here. Okay, let's go back to our readme script. 
So we are done with step four. So we proceed to step five. We need to copy uh, the button and fields to our own drawing layout. So we go here to our meetings file. We select these objects and copy them. We go to our uh, meeting details layout. That's the layout where we want to start the drawing functionality. And we paste the objects in here. Okay, so um, the drawing button we will want to keep on screen, of course, but the other two fields, uh, we can put them off screen. They are just used to link the drawing and metadata fields. So we need to double click them and assign them to our own drawing and uh, metadata field. Okay. And the drawing button, yeah, we will put them here at the right hand side. We will change the anchor and yeah, we'll make the drawing field a little bit smaller. Okay, looks perfect. Okay, let's go back to our readme script. And the last step is to check the security. And this because the FM URL script uh, extended privilege needs to be enabled for our account. So we go to File, Manage uh, Security. Here we have our uh, default admin account, but we go to Extended Privileges. And here you see the FM URL script extended privilege uh, that's automatically added by FileMaker, but it's not activated um, by default. So we need to enable it for our accounts who will use the easy draw functionality in our case that's only the full access for now so we click ok and again ok um, there is no password for the full access but we will allow it for now so that's it we are almost done so we followed the six steps and we are now ready to test perfect so we enter browse mode and we hit our drawing button. Okay, nice. So we are presented with a canvas and now we can easily draw in our canvas. You see, I'm not <laughs> the best drawer, but I'm happy. So save. Nice. So we have now our drawing here and we can also perfectly edit our drawing afterwards. So we can, for example, select our drawing and make it bigger safe nice so thank you for watching i hope you managed to integrate easy draw in your own custom filemaker app and i hope to see you soon in one of my next videos bye